Welcome back to another one. I'm pumped today. I'm excited. I know, that was a little odd opening to the video. Uh, the next one will dump the whole tube on the Franke. I haven't shot the old Rite Gordian in a while. Yep, check it out. We got four baby chicks. They're a brewing. I'm sure that's, that is actually the first shotgun uh, they've ever heard. Probably freaked them out. But got the baby chicks going, pigeon coops building. But I wanted to bring you guys something different. I'm excited. As you all know, the lodge, we're booking hunts, uh, booking clients. And with that, we're getting on a lot of new property. But, oh, another package got delivered. Hmm. Lots of new packages getting delivered to the old lodge, guys. Today, we're heading out with my buddy Tristan to go look at the new Duckleys that we will be guiding on here at Sand Hill Flyways this coming duck hunting season. This spot is a, there's, there's a timber hole for mallards, and then there's three different bodies of water for geese and mallards, duck hole, goose hole, timber mallard hole, all on one property. We're gonna go check it out here in just a bit. I wanna show y'all, I wanna get your guys' take on it, your input, your ideas, what we should do. We wanna build a blind out there, so I need y'all's help. But before we get into today's video, I wanna let you guys know that here at Sand Hill Flyways, we got some December dates open and some January dates open. If y'all have ever thought about coming to Central Kansas, the Central Flyway, yep, a ton of birds during the season especially during December and January, get a hold of me. I got some openings. DM me on Instagram. That is the easiest thing to do right here. Hit me up. Bobby, I want to book a hunt. I'll get back right with you, like right away. Oh, but check it out. We got old Frederick today. Check him out. Hey, buddy, you ready to go? I'll take that as a yes. Fred's ready to go see the new duck lease. But before we get on the road here, check out the new swag from Ducks Waterfowl. This is the May Ducks t-shirt of the month, y'all. And the Ducks t-shirt of the month only costs $14.99 a month. You get it the same day in your mailbox every single month, y'all. If you want to subscribe to the Ducks t-shirt of the month, I will link it down in the description below. Well, we're walking in, had a little weather system come in. It's chilly. It's like real chilly. What happened to the weather, dude? Uh, it started raining, I guess. <laughs> Just started raining. This is Tristan. Y'all have met Tristan. How many videos have you been on now? It's probably three or four? Five, I think. Five? Uh, the last one you seen Tristan, we took his brother on the turkey hunt. We didn't have any success, but we went turkey hunting. This is Tristan's property. Tristan will be helping us this year at Sand Hill Flyways. And this whole property, you got some amazing duck holes here, dude. Uh, he's kind enough, he, what was it, about a month ago, he was like, Bob, do you want to use my duck leases for guiding this coming year? And I'm like, dude, are you serious? Like, really? He's like, yeah, have at it. So that's why we're here. Yep. I appreciate it, dude. No problem. This spot, in fact, I've never got to hunt. He's hunted a bunch, obviously. This spot uh is literally a spot that i've drooled over and drooled over and drooled over some more for years and i mean years so uh this hole here that we're walking up on uh this will probably be one of the primary holes won't it yep. i'm sorry for the wind guys oh well here's the first hole this is uh this is pretty much the main hole isn't it yep this is what you hunt the most uh so last year that hole over there was the main hole. Oh, really? That this one was. This year was the main hole. Gotcha, gotcha. So this hole here, I'm going to try to stand by the tree and get you all out of the wind. This hole here, we're standing on the west side looking east. Uh, usually you're going to be dealing with a north wind, right? Hunting this yep. hole. So Tristan's idea, what he wants to do, uh, when they hunt it with a group, whether it's four or eight people, they usually put an A-frame right underneath this tree like didn't you say like right here it's actually right over oh right up here. here oh i see it okay yeah this is the remnants of the grassing i can tell <laughs> so this is where tristan brought up the idea he's always wanted to build a permanent blind out here what should we do right here what do you want to do right here what's your go-to plan I'd say make a wooden box blind. That'll fit, I don't know, up to eight or 10. 
Yeah, probably. You know, my idea is a wooden box blind. So you'll sit in here, basically right here, big wooden box blind. Get some shelves in here. Like I was saying, <laughs> what would be nice is if we could plumb in some propane heating options. Wouldn't that be nice? That would be excellent. Oh my goodness. So we're planning on building the box blind right here. You guys have a better plan. I know the first, the first and most common is going to be Bobby. You and Tristan should build a pit blind, guaranteed. That's, you can't. It's gonna suck. If yeah. It, if it floods, and it floods screwed. all the time. This place flood. How many? How many springs does this place usually flood? Every spring? Hmm. Every other? And when he means flood, it'll go all the way up there, won't it? Like, all hmm. the way. So you can't put in a pit blind. It would end up soaking it, popping it out. It'd be a mess. So a wooden blind right here. Anchor it down real good in case it did flood. But yeah. I think that's the way to go. Brad, dude, you're a mess already. You taste duck poop in there, huh? Yeah. Brad, Brad, get him. Oh, old Freddy. He's gonna have some fun here. He's gonna love this place, dude. Oh, yeah. Come on, dude. Oh, look at that, Fred. Tristan and I were just talking. He said this last season on the hole we just left, you shot, what, five pin tail, a couple widgeon, and some teal, two teal, and out of all the birds he shot, all the other ones were all mallards. How many ducks in general? God, I'm soaked. That was cold walking through that. <laughs> oh, you're soaked. How many uh, ducks total do you think you shot off that one hole last year? Probably about five, six hundred. Wow. Oh, look, we got ducks getting off right here. Five or six hundred, only a handful weren't mallards. This whole area is mallard heaven, y'all. Well, here's the next hole. We're walking up, about 20 ducks got up. Lots of teal are hanging around. Teal and uh, a couple spoonies. It's about all that's here now. Yep. Everything else is north. Oh, this dried up a lot just in the last couple weeks. Yeah, it dries up quick. Oh, man, it dries up real fast. So this is hole number two. Uh, this hole probably dries up a lot, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah, I can tell. I mean, just, what was it two weeks ago this was all the way up here so this hole doesn't have a well the first one does so this is this is one of them just iffy if it has water if it doesn't right yeah and we can always try to bring a tractor up to this hill right yeah we could always try to pump water to it but long story short this hole here is really really good for trafficking geese have you guys done any big goose spreads on it yet no oh man i'm so excited <laughs> look at this just loving it blue wings. yep blue wings what is this y'all look at this what is that y'all looks like a hairball with bones in it there's one there and there's one here. What is it? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> I seen it, I was like, what's that? Uh, that look, don't cats cough up? That might be an owl. An owl, I heard owls do something like that too. If you guys know what that is, drop a comment down below and let us both know because golly. Because we don't know, we, we, we have no idea. Oh, right there you go. Well, here is uh, the next spot here. This is a third hole, uh, four holes in total. The final, the fourth, the fourth and final hole is the timber hole, which we will take you there next. That's five. Oh, there's five holes? That wheat hole. The what hole? Oh, the wheat hole, yeah. There's also a water hole, which we don't have to show them that because it's small. There's a water hole up against a, a tree row right over here in a planted wheat field every year, same thing. And uh, the ducks and geese just love to get up into those trees and out of that north wind. That's, mm -hmm. they, that's why they love it. Mainly geese. Mainly geese, yeah. A lot of honkers, I bet. Mm -hmm. The lessers like getting in there too? Some. But honkers. Yeah. Mainly honkers and greenheads. Mm-hmm. Yummy. Let's check it out here. Let's check her out. So this is 
This is an old duck hole and uh, it's got an old blind there in the middle. Just needs some sides and some brush and it'll be good to go. Have you ever used it? No, last year it was actually up. This year it's tore down. Oh, gotcha. Yep, it's one just out in the middle of the water. That'd be pretty sweet. It's like some cattails grow around it too, so you could just blind it down with cattails. But this one's a lot smaller, a lot tighter. Ooh, look at all the teal. Ooh, those are all woodies. All wood ducks. They're coming over. Right here, boys. Right here, boys. Right there, boys. Oh, the very first hunt we've done out here, we actually shot a seven man. Oh, wow. And it was in this hole. Oh, is this where you sat right here, pretty much? North uh, wind? Yeah, just right here. Gotcha. Yeah, the, I was going to say, man, this little spot here. Oh, yeah, look. Old blind box right there. Uh, it flooded all the way up into that back corner. Oh, really? Yep. Wow, this right here, I was going to say, on a north wind, this would be perfect. Dude, this place is amazing. Amazing. I appreciate it, brother. You're the man, dude. Dude, that's a really old shell. What brand is that? Says active, active, active ounce and three eighths steel shot. Look at that old dude there. There, now you can see it. That's where the primer is. Crazy looking old shell. That's sweet, dude. Well, here's the pump outlet. This is uh, the well, and it fills the first hole that we went to. You run the hose out, goes downhill. You just let it run downhill right to it, right? Yep. It fills it pretty quick. How long does it usually take if it's real low? I've never flooded it. You've never had to. We've had a lot of rain the last few years. Yep. Yep. But it does have a well. They have cattle on here all the time. So that being said, we got a well to use. Well, we are headed uh, just around the section. Uh, the timber hole is on the north side of the section. And it actually, the water joins up to a really big portion of water. So we're headed there. I want to show you it and I've never got to see it. I've heard it's amazing. It is one of the hottest spots in my area for mallards. Uh, this being the fifth hole, these water properties that you're seeing here, where, I, where you see all the hunts, uh, like the field hunting and all that, these are the loafs. These are the roosts, not the root. Now this one that we're going to, the birds love to roost on this one here, but that's why you don't hunt it as much, this timber hole coming up. So this timber hole, I'm guessing, I've never seen it, I've only heard about it, is amazing. Heaven on earth, we're coming. But if you guys like this video, before we get to the timber hole, please smash the thumbs up button. And if you guys like them, you gotta let me know uh seriously let me know drop a comment let me know because if so i'll show you all of the other leases that we've gathered up we got a bunch man and i mean a bunch we need we need to renovate a lot of old duck leases a lot of old duck blinds so on and so forth let's go oh you're just having a good old time buddy fred is absolutely in heaven but here we are had to walk in a little ways your legs are really really soaked so now my bad, my bad. <laughs> I called him this morning, I'm like, Tristan, do you wanna go take a gander? I wanna look. I've never got to see this. I'm glad I brought y'all along too, cause this is fun. Oh boy, how pretty is this? Yeah, I don't have the right attire on to uh, wade way out there. But as you can see out there, it opens up into a big circle pond in the middle of nothing but huge huge trees cottonwoods literally surround this whole area oh there he goes big old toad big old frog not a toad a frog this place is amazing did you uh you didn't hunt it last year though did you twice oh you did hunt it twice two three times i'm not 100 percent sure yeah did you guys do any good not extremely good is what we were expecting. Wasn't it froze one of the times? Yep. Yeah, I bet it freezes up pretty easy, don't it? Yep. Well, there's no wind getting Yeah, there's no wind hitting it, so it freezes up. And to keep it open with the ripples, you know what I mean. And then number two, it's probably not very deep. How deep is it? Thigh. Thigh high. Oh, really? I didn't even think it was that deep. Boy, howdy, what a beauty. I don't know if you guys can see out there, but it goes 
I don't know what, probably a hundred yards that way the, the water does. Opens up real big out there. Check it out. Can't get any closer. But absolutely gorgeous, man. The only thing about this is with the water as high as it is, you really, do you have a good hide out here anywhere? It's kind of the trees. difficult. Trees just standing like next Arkansas to Arkansas timber. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly, you're exactly right. Post up beside a tree right there and your waders, throw your decoys out there. Guaranteed. Get it done. That's the way to get it done. That's the way. Oh, oh, oh. This is bad, dude. This is sweet. I can't wait. Yep. We can also put panel blinds somewhere. Panel blinds out in front of everybody. We could do some, what we could do actually, get some swamp chairs. You know, the, the swamp chairs that stake down that they're real tall. Yep. And then we could get, we could at least get some T-posts drive some t-posts down with some camo netting in front oh yeah and then you could sit on the swamp chairs mm -hmm. that'd work too yep it at least it'd be pretty much just like standing next to a tree but you'd have a seat and a little barrier in front of you drop a comment down below you know i always ask for you guys suggestions because a lot of you are better at this than i am drop a comment down below what should we do here you got to get out there you got to be able to get out there to shoot because also need to think about hangers. Hangers? Yeah, for guns. Hangers for guns? So. I hear honkers. Oh, we shot uh, timber honkers in here. Timber too. honkers, yeah. boys. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. This place is sweet. I wish I, wish I would have worn my waders so I could have took you on out there, but we will on another video. Tristan just had a, a really good idea. Instead of doing the T-post, you might use the T-post later on, but it'd probably be a good idea just to go out there, north wind, south wind, find two different spots, buy some of those, like he just said, uh, some of those deer steps, you know, the deer hunting steps for tree stands and stuff. Get some of those, screw into the uh, standing trees that you're gonna be standing around shooting ducks. That way you can hang your bag on them, your gun on them. Maybe even get some little uh, little shelves or something that way they can sit stuff on like a box of shelves yeah. that'd be awesome because in this place you have to have that you can't there's nowhere to put an a-frame it is water it is timber you're standing in water next to a tree if you guys have any uh any good products out there to recommend for that situation drop them down in the comment section below link them down there hook a brother up all right, Fred, hurry up. We're on a highway. Let's go. Good boy. Good boy. <sighs> well, it is probably three hours later. I've been doing nothing but driving around scouting pigeons for the next pigeon hunt coming up. It's going to be a good one. Stay tuned. But in the meantime, uh, I haven't showed you guys this yet. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys all of it yet by no means. But yeah, lots of semis. I got on, actually Jordan and I, let's get it straight, Jordan and I got on a new rooftop to trap pigeons. And that video will be coming at y'all probably the next video. The next video that goes up, whether it's tomorrow or the next day, you'll get the entire rundown of what's going on here. I don't wanna give it away where I'm at because y'all have to wait for this video to, uh, to come. It's gonna come, like I said, the next video, check it out. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Holy smokes. And one of them laid an egg. <laughs> this rooftop has been incredible. Uh, just all my pigeon pest control trappers out there that like these videos, just know that there's a bunch of content to come. I ordered some nets so we can trap them by hand. I have some other ideas, so just be expecting these videos. This rooftop is disgusting and insane. We've already trapped over 50 in one week. So to put it mildly, just be waiting for the next video to come about the pest control pigeon, cause they're everywhere. Well, we are back home and Fred is ready to get out of this truck. Come on buddy, I had to pull over on the side of the road. Come on buddy, come on now. I had to pull over on the side of the road, give him a drink, let him take a whiz, you know. One of y'all uh, commented and, and said, Bob, 
whatever you do, don't leave Fred in there. I guess y'all had a buddy uh, whose dog passed away uh, because I, I'm guessing had heat stroke in their topper. Man, that's something to really think about. And when you told me that, you're like, it was only like 60 or 70 degrees out. Now, I don't know if his topper had this or not, but mine has windows that fully open and fully shut. That's what's really nice about the topper, especially in the winter. Uh, I close it up and it's really warm for old Frederick, but the old lodge. Uh, Gerald and I are starting construction tomorrow, y'all. So we're gonna start tearing into this bad boy. Actually, it's destruction. That's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna get rid of the staircase. That's gonna go first. This needs to come out. And then this is going to be the bathroom. We're going to take this out, this whole wall, this whole wall, possibly the ceiling if we need to. So those things are on the agenda for Gerald and I to start attacking literally tomorrow. I can't wait. I've been waiting to take a big old sledgehammer to the walls of this thing and just get it going. So y'all have been asking when those videos are going to fire up. Now get ready for them and the new pest control roof where we just were. Seriously, all you do not want to miss those videos. They are going to be extremely entertaining. I'm ready. I'm ready to get this bad boy going. Uh, I'm really hoping that you guys are looking forward to the lodge construction videos, everything, the rebuilding, renovation, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what I'm going to title it, but it's going to be awesome. You guys have helped me so much by giving me ideas for this place. I literally cannot thank you guys enough. Y'all have really stepped up when I asked uh, about helping me with this lodge, and I thank you. The one question I do want to answer, I asked y'all, should I keep or get rid of these doors? Yeah, y'all came through, and <clears throat> man, it was probably a good 75, 85% of you were like, Bobby, don't you dare get rid of these doors because... I guess when you get rid of them, my buddy Joey, y'all know Joey Vasello from Midwest Flyways. He's, he's a contractor and he does a lot of building. He said, Bob, do not get rid of those. For one, the construction costs to build them back in is gonna be worth more than what you can even sell both full doors for to get your money back. Plus, taking those doors away will actually decrease the value of the building itself. So I was like, got me thinking. I'm like, boom, that's what I need to know. So thank you, Joey. Thank you all for all of your help. This is gonna be a major deal and I'm gonna bring y'all along for the ride. Said and done. Y'all will be here the whole time, helping me, giving me your tips, liking what I'm doing, hating what I'm doing. <laughs> but seriously guys, thank you for being here. Like I said at the beginning of the video, the new May Ducks t-shirt of the month. It's available. And look at that bad boy. The old Bobby Guy Films pose, holding it out there, getting your shot on the old phone for the old Instagram. Oh yeah. May shirt of the month. This shirt is available May and May only, y'all. Get signed up for the Ducks t-shirt of the month. One-off designs in your mailbox, only $14.99 a month. It will be linked in the description below. But again, I thank you guys, I think 10 times now. Thank you guys for being here. If you have any video ideas, let me know down in the comment section below and subscribe if you haven't. And yes, Fred is going to the trainer still. That is happening amongst all this other craziness. Hit that little notification bell down there. It'll notify you on your mobile device when I upload. But until next time. I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that